This is a QRP rig built 20 years ago. It's direct conversion, 40 metres and VXO controlled. I thought I'd dust it off and see if I can make any improvements and give it a new lease of life. There's several things I've done. First of all, a better VXO. I'm using two crystals 7030 in parallel. That achieves a much better pulling range. As you might be able to see from the scale, it now goes from 7005 to 7028, or nearly all of the CW portion of 40 metres. The more frequencies you cover, the more contacts you'll get. The other thing that was a pain with the old rig was I had to change the frequency to go from transmit to receive. This VXO rig didn't have an offset. And they're hard to add, because tuning is so non-linear. So what I did was I put in a relay and an extra tuning capacitor. This one controls the transmit frequency and this one the receive frequency. But note the crystals and the series inductance are common to both. A small relay switches between the two. I find that's fast enough even for braking. So that's another improvement. It's now got full braking. The other thing I've changed is the transmit receive switching. Before it used a relay. Now the Pi network is connected permanently to the antenna socket. I'm using electronic switching. Because it's a mono band rig, this was quite easy. The other end of the Pi network is connected to the output of the transmitter, the final, and from that same point, a ceramic capacitor. Then there are two diodes in parallel and a 10 microhenry RF choke. Now what's significant about that? They offer little attenuation to the desired signal. However, the two diodes present some attenuation and so stop the transmit signal from overloading the receiver front end. The other thing I should note is these two in series present quite a high impedance to the transmitter so they don't take too much power. Then there's the side tone. I could have used a transistor circuit, but I was lazy. Instead, I used a piezo buzzer. Voltage to it has a dropping resistor to reduce its output. That is connected to the keyed DC voltage. In my transmitter it's 5 volts, but it could just as easily be 12 volts. Then you'll see just under the wires a capacitor that connects straight to the headphone. It's in parallel with the output from the audio amplifier. The piezo transducer is actually inside the rig and with the case on you probably can't hear much from it. But the signal it conveys to the headphones do provide a side tone effect audible in the phones. I've also changed the transmitter as well. I'm using a new keying stage and a 74HC04 as the transmitter driver. That drives the PA, which is now an IRF510. I can actually get 5 watts out of it, but it gets very, very hot, so I've turned it down to 3. 